A local family thanking the heroes who rescued their dog. The escaped hound comes. Animal control for uh, police bloodhound Westbound 80. It's not your everyday police call. Cars stopped on top of the bloodhound. We're gonna try to lift the car off. This sheriff dash cam video shows a car stopped on I-80 and pinned underneath a large dog. A deputy uses his car to block traffic, and an off-duty CHP officer stops to help. Them, what they're doing, jacking up the car and being underneath that is mind blowing. Colton Wilson is the dog's owner. Honestly, the first thing is like he's dead. Like that's all honestly, all I thought. But this tale has a happy ending. Meet Ruger, a 10-month-old hound dog who followed his nose a little too far from home. I looked out my second-story window and I noticed there was a crazy amount of traffic. Ruger's aunt Corinne couldn't believe her eyes. I ran outside and I went to the fence and I was yelling at the officers, "Hey, that's my dog!" Deputy Stan Seminook himself, a canine handler. Used his leash to strap up Ruger to get him to the vet hospital, and miraculously, he survived. And while I was driving there, I was like, I pray that he's still alive, and he was. That's awesome. Ruger's family is forever grateful to the men who helped. I would love to thank him personally in the uh, in person, but uh, that's awesome what they did. They went up and beyond. Mm -hmm. I honestly thank him for that. Mm -hmm. oh. That's a good step. Hungry and happy, Ruger is safe at home. The hole in the fence is patched up. And they're hoping he won't be hightailing it across the freeway anytime soon. This poor guy has certainly had a rough day. He has a few stitches and some bruised lungs. That's something they're going to have to look out for. But more importantly, all he has to worry about is this embarrassing cone right now. Huh, buddy? <laughs>